Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for catching up. This is episode two of removing the gearbox from a Colchester student 2500 lathe. Um, what you can see here is me hand filing one of the gear wheels that was knackered. Um, what's turned out uh, to be a case hardened gear wheel has actually gone soft because of the damage, which is enabling me to file it using um, a Dremel here just to speed the process up a little bit but um, yeah very interesting process um, going through it a few little bits there's a lot of burrs um, that have thrown themselves into the um, gears and that's not allowing the gear to pass through the other meshing gears um, so this is why I was fixing this problem Hopefully you can see the work that's gone into each individual gear tooth. Um, hopefully I can show it nicely in these uh, views. But I've had to angle um, each gear wheel and take off every single burr from every single gear tooth. I think um, so far so good. Bearing in mind this uh, gear wheel is now soft on one side and hard on the other. So it will require some recase hardening. Uh, coming up soon. Here we have the process of uh, case hardening, just using a flame, getting it up to cherry red, and then dunking it in some carbon and making sure that once it's dunked in the carbon, we reheat it up to uh, red and then dunk it in some water that will shock it into being nice and case hardened quite a cool process to see this all that i'm doing here is making sure that the gear is um, back to a decent hardness so that it won't um, get messed up again whilst inside meshing with the other gears Over here, we've got all the gears back in position. Um, it's quite uh, an intense uh, reassembly. Um, you need to be sure of each location of each one of those separate gears. Um, make sure you've noted them down. Remember my previous episode, I took those notes, use those notes and do the reverse of that. Um, the gasket, as you can see here, is quite damaged. So that's on back order, waiting for delivery. So once that comes, I can put the gasket back on and reassemble the gearbox to the lathe. Here's a nice little close-up of the work that's gone into uh, that gear wheel in particular, showing you how it all fits back together and showing you how the, the meshing gear wheel now is able to move through the gears with ease and no catching on any burrs, which is great. This is what we needed to achieve in the first place. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it and uh, subscribe. All good. You know what to do. Cheers, guys.